Hey everyone. So the other day I was talking to a friend about a thing that used to happen in my life when I was a kid on a really regular basis. Um, I went to a little country church. If you've met me, you know much about me, you know that I grew up in just kind of a quintessential little country church. And they had this tradition. Uh, every fifth Sunday, we would either have a potluck after church or uh, the next fifth Sunday, we would have like this dessert blowout after church on Sunday night. Now, I'm dating myself a little bit because this is back in the day when, uh, you know, church wasn't one time a week on Sunday morning. It was it was three times a week minimum. You know, you had the, the Sunday morning thing with the Sunday school and then church. And then you had like the fellowship time in between. And, and then you had Sunday evening service, of course, for choir practice and youth group. And well, who knows what else everybody else was doing during all that. And then on Wednesday night, you had Bible study and more. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so we had these uh, potluck dinners every fifth Sunday, or then we would have uh, the linger longers with the desserts. We got to talking about these potluck dinners, and it seemed so ubiquitous. And I was wondering what you guys remember of potluck dinners. I don't think you even have to go have gone to a particularly country church to relate to some of this. You know, the... Uh, uh, the, the people who always brought certain favorite dishes and they might have been Michelin three star gourmet chefs, but my gosh, if they didn't bring this one simple dish every single time, everybody'd lose their minds. Like there was one little old lady at our church and uh, we called her Aunt Agnes and she brought these uh, hot dogs wrapped in bacon and then drizzled with maple syrup and baked in the oven little toothpicks stuck in them and my gosh it's diabetes and a heart attack on a toothpick all at once and she probably made a thousand dishes beautifully well but nobody wanted anything to do with any of those we just wanted those little hot dogs wrapped in bacon uh and there were other people who would you know they always brought this particular hot dish you know or this particular casserole if you're from that part of the country and uh they always or the person who always brought the, the fried chicken that tastes just like Kentucky Fried Chicken. And if you didn't know this, once upon a time, Kentucky Fried Chicken was delicious. Um, and then there were the people who always brought uh, a certain kind of, you know, jello fluff type salad or a particular kind of macaroni dish and seven layer salads and all these different things and and it was just a wonderful time for everybody to get together. And you would, you you might forget until that morning if you were a kid and uh, that, that it was going to be potluck dinner day. But then you would see the picnic basket on the kitchen table and you'd get excited because you knew you were going to have extra time to play with your friends and goof around and, you know, get into some kind of mischief like playing hide and go seek in some part of the church basement where, I don't know, it was just the creepiest thing ever, but it was the best place to play hide and go seek because you knew you could scare the junk out of your friends. and Or maybe it would, uh, the, the potluck dinner would take place during the winter and you knew you were going to play uh, chicken on the sleds flying down the hill and Oh my gosh, the brutality of it. And we did all this on this potluck food. What were we thinking? But it wasn't even really about the food, was it? I mean, certainly not for the kids, but not even for the adults. It was it was about the conversations and the memories. Because the adults, you know, they had all their ways of goofing off too. And they were just as wonderful for everyone. And, and uh, yeah, it's just... One heck of a time. And when it was all said and done, everybody would drive home bleary-eyed, barely able to stay awake because they'd worn themselves out or stuffed themselves full or both and couldn't wait to get home and flop themselves down on their favorite lazy boy or sofa. Or maybe they would just go straight and lay on their bed and take a nap. Or if it's nice weather, they would flop on the hammock or pull out a... a, a you know, folding lawn chair or something to grab a nap and then bake in the sun. And what a wonderful day. Well, anyway, I hope you guys um, have memories of church potlucks full of lots of people laughing and talking. And even if there was that one person who did that gross thing where they put like a chicken on the bottom of their plate and then seven layer salad on top and dessert on top of that. You still went home at the end of the day 
having had a pretty great day. I hope you guys have memories of a lot of great days like that. Have a great night.